Hey, um, yes, Kwabina. Um, thank you, brother. And um, Kwabina, we are living. Let, let me let me, let me uh, repeat the question to okay. everybody. So, okay. So, yeah. family, what we're doing is uh, we're trying. What we're doing is we're trying to get a feedback from uh, those of us, um, you know, from the diaspora that came here as a guest, and those of us who live here in Ghana, and trying to compare the um, the reflection, because one of the things is Black African history is not the same everywhere we go in the world, uh, and this is um, you know the feedback sometimes when I have some of our folks who are scholars, a lot of us who come on these uh, journeys, you know, we do a lot of studying and things like that, so we are well, well prepared. But what we end up noticing is sometimes more of the local people don't have certain um, connections to what's going on in the country, especially if they're from a different part of the region or the country. Uh, so that's why this question is always uh, a great question to just get feedback from. Like, um, I wasn't really taught a whole lot of African history in school, but I ended up doing a lot of studying uh, and things like that. But some of us never do the, the, the learning in school and never do the actual studying and the research. Okay, so uh, we will come back to you. Uh, I will so, come back to you. So we have, the, we have, we have Duncan right yeah, here. So. We're going to start. Oh, we're Duncan. Okay, so tell us, this is your first time there. Uh, how, how do you see the place? And then uh, what do you make of the place? Uh, okay, uh, Abu, I'm a, uh, I think uh, my brother, uh, Money is doing a great job. You know, he's trying to, you know, get people located. And, you know, we all we need to support, you know, and make things happen. I think he's doing very, very great job. Thank you. No, no, you no, got to answer the question, is, please. Uh, Stop doing that. Ancestral war. This is your first time. See, this is, this is a, and then, this is the reality, right? <laughs> yeah, he, dodged, he, he can't dodge my question. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> How do you see the family? Um, is there anything that you learn? The family is a good word. Go ahead. Oh, so I've, I've, learned, I've learned a lot about the world and all that. I think that's what I see. Good. <laughs> not answer the question. Oh, we got it. Get the Oh, let me. Okay, you can't be coming. Okay. Okay. I mean, what did you learn from the wall? Did you learn about any of the historical people on the wall? Actually, I'll say the food is very nice. No, did you did you know any of the ancestors on the wall? That's that's my question for if you can translate. Yeah, let me answer more. Like, they're they're not even taught about slavery. So what it is, is it's teaching us how much of an uphill battle that we have to not only wake ourselves up, but we're having to blow the horn and the trumpet for our sisters and brothers that are just unfortunately, you know, haven't been shown for Absolutely. a reason, you know what I'm saying? So that more than anything, that's what that's what it showed us. But yeah, like, look at the ancestral wall. Oh my goodness, it's like a, a bastion, a baseball card, memorabilia section full of our heroes from the beginning of time. I mean, but this, this history has to be uh, somehow brought to light to our sisters and bro uh, brothers here. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely, brother, absolutely. Thank you. Yeah, um, yes, formally, GG, next. formally at school, you learn history, geography, mathematics, science. Currently, things have it changes. Is it social studies? Uh, these studies and these studies, and uh, some of them are not uh, really catching the history. Yeah. So thank you so much. So perfect. We have, we have okay. Yao and Gigi. Yao and Gigi, let's know something, uh -huh. please. Okay. I'll go. Amen. <laughs> yes. You know, I've been a census war for over four, four, let's say four years. And anytime I went there, I see different pictures and from our ancestors and our heroes. Africa. So, and I enjoy the food there, although I was not feeling fun there, but I enjoy it. I'm always, when I went there, always, I enjoy their food. Oh, yeah, so, keep on talking about the food, we talk about the so, wall and the culture. The wall, it's, it's always, when we went there, always, we see different pictures from our ancestors. So, I think it's good. And I appreciate what that, Jerry, to do that for our ancestors. Thank you. Absolutely, but appreciate it. Okay, 
I think the um, the ancestral wall is a tremendous way to pay homage to our our ancestors. Um, I was in the mall and just looking at some of the past leaders and um, in amazement at how they all fought for the same thing, but in different regions of the world. Let me speak again. I'm excited. Happy to be here. Thank you. The last two people. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> so, what I learned from the wall is we had great leaders, great ancestors, past who are no more, and they have left, left a particular legacy for us to follow. Like Kwame Nkrumah, Martin Luther King, Marcus Gavi, Kimapi. All of them, they have fought a good fight and they have taught us that we have to be strong in our decision to make sure that other, other people also follow us and then we can do something good for our nation as a whole. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you so yeah, much. We have some more feedback. Some people. Want... Oh, I don't okay. know if we go back that far. Okay. We're running out of you. The great wall is great, you know, there's a lot of great leaders out there, but my question is to you, earlier you had asked us, but you never made it back here. Um, this is my first time in Ghana, and what do I see different? I see, the question is, is that I see a whole lot of unfinished houses, and why is that? The, good job, you won the million dollar prize. Hey. Hey. We need to pay for this guy. Hey. We need to let's put the house together for him. Yes, Can yes. The clue cool was construction, and you got it. Yay. You, you hit it right on top of the head. Bang, bang. Thank you. <laughs> I will answer that. Okay, yeah. good. Uh, okay. That was the question yeah, we talked about yesterday. It's, it's, We're yeah. trying to get somebody to ask. <laughs> I go. I'm mad. Uh, what I learned about the wall is uh, that wall is like a flashcard of your history. Yeah. There's so much information in, in that. You can't learn that in America. You have to do a whole bunch of research and research on top of research on top of research. And you still won't get it. Because they don't want you to know, you got information back in BC before Christ. And if we was around BC before Christ, Michael said we've been had, we've been took. <laughs> all, all that good stuff, brother. All that good stuff. Serious. Thank you. You've been, Thank you, man. Yeah, yeah, that's how I felt when I first came to Africa. I was like, we've been bamboozled. That was, that's, that was my reflection. And I was like, yo, okay. we... All right. Does so someone want to say something about... Do you want to say something about the wall? The wall was very informative. I, I had no knowledge of most of anything that was on that wall, so I was happy to get a Chance to see it and uh, view it for myself. Thank you for much. Absolutely, brother. Appreciate y'all. Yes, family. I like the voice. Paul is very funny. <laughs> I like the voice. Uh, come and you teach me how you speak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 If, 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 okay. if he wants to do this, the laws and the country is different moving around. Oh, okay. So, yeah, 25 so. cities for the lesson. I'll give you 50 cities for the lesson. <laughs> okay, now the question um, has been unveiled. That one of our brothers has just observed, and I told you two observation. And then the question is, why is it that we have a lot of unfinished building in here? Ah. Um, in Ghana, we have a practice. And that practice, I have code name, there is no hurry in life. There is no hurry in life. So we build our building according to the size of our cloth. There is an adage that says that cut your coat according to your size. But currently, it's cut your coat according to the size of your cloth. Yes. Where do you get the money? 
Now, getting money to build is very difficult. The banks will not give you money unless you yourself you are worthy. If you have much money, then the bank will consider giving you money uh, for a short term, not a long term. Why? Because the exchange rate is very high. Currently, it's 28.6%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 28.6%. So, can you imagine if you go in for $100,000 to build a house? When are you going to finish paying and pay the interest? Then you are creating debt. You are creating problems for your children and your grandchildren. Why should your grandchildren come and fight your battle for you? There is no need for your grandchildren to fight your battle. Even your children fight your own battle. So you have to cut your coat according to the size of your cloth. If it will take you a certain number of years to get the land, you will do that. When I was building my first house, it took me eight years to build a three bedroom flat. Eight years. I have to save, I have to do this, every money that I get, I have to put in before I study. There is no rush. If I were to go in for loan, they will be chasing me here and there to get their money. They have to pay and pay interest. And because we fight our own battle, we don't want our children and children's children fighting our own battle, we build at our own pace. We don't rely on the banks. We don't rely on anybody. If you are able to get your land, for example, take you two years to get a land, it can also take you two to three years to get to the window level. The only thing that you need is to be strong and determination. Strong in the mind, strong in the heart, and determination that will lead you to your future uh, uh, house or your, your, your dream house. If you have this character stored in you, you can be the skyscrapers at your own pace. You may have two or three messes. Very good. And if you have two bags, three bags of cement, they go and start for you. When your money is gone, no problem. It's an investment. Next time you get it, they will continue. The next time you get it, they will continue. The next time they get it, they will continue. By the time you realize you have your dream house. When we were kids, our mother taught us something, how to save money. And there is something that we call susu box. Susu is just a contribution. And my mother, my grandmother will tell you that you don't eat your scrum food. The crumbs, you can't eat it again. What you need to do is gather it and keep it. When you buy something and you have one CD, uh, 50 cents, 20 cents, whatever, don't throw it away. You keep it in a box. So in the house, everybody has a box. And we keep this money in the box. Yesterday, I told you that my first track suit that I bought is that money. I used that money to buy a track seat because I was a sportsman. You'll be keeping this money gradually. Four years ago, I started doing the same thing. Oh no, four, six years ago. Yes, six years ago. Up to four years ago. You have one CD, 50 pesos. I will not use it. I dump it down there. I just put it there. At the end of the year, when I went and checked, I have over 2,000 CDs. I collected all, went to the bank and changed it. And I had a party with kids. And always that is what I do. Uh, at the end of the beginning of the year, I have the money in hand. Ending of the year, I check my money. Whatever I put there, I just go and take it. And then go and change it. Kids in the area, tell them, let's enjoy. If I would have spent that money, that money would have been gone. But you keep it gradually. Just put it there. What is one, one dollar? Drop it there. 50 cents, drop it there. After some time, go and see. You have money there. So nobody rushes you 
to finish your house and the person come and gets his money. That is why you see a lot of uncompleted building because people are building on their own pace. It might be a company, it might be an individual, it might be a family, but they build on their own pace. That's why we say there is no hurry in life. Excellent. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you for that. And uh,